So hi, I'm I'm Brian, and I'm starting this blog, this vlog, I guess, um, to for a couple of reasons. One is to have a little fun on all my business trips. I travel extensively, um, and wanted to find something to have fun in. I like to bring my guitar, uh, but that's not a reasonable thing so um, I thought I would start a vlog and show some of the things I do during traveling uh, the adventures that happen um, maybe some tips on business travel or even personal travel um, as I go so hopefully you enjoy this I'm gonna apologize for this first videos appearance because I filmed it with my iPad and I filmed it in portrait mode, so I'm going to apologize for that. So hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, subscribe. I'm going to try to put these out. Uh, try to get it on a weekly basis and see what happens. Thanks. At the Indianapolis airport, we actually have a very, very pretty airport. In fact, I like it the best of any of the airports that I go to. I love these little cloud sculptures up here at the top. Um, they got a little string. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but they got little strings hanging down from them like rain and little flying clouds. They're really cool. I like them. Here in the lobby, we have an Indy 500 race car, all decorated up for the hundredth running of the Indy 500. You can see it's almost one o'clock. And if we look here, my flight to Toronto is. 2.30, so I'm an hour and a half early. If there had been a long line at security, uh, long line dropping off the rental car, whatever it is, you know, I'm, I'm ready for it. I've got plenty of time. I hate to be rushed. And why be rushed? Give yourself plenty of time. Get to the airport in plenty of time uh, to take into account for all those things. So it's only, what, 12 after? So... 12 minutes or so to get through security. That's not bad. The benefit of a small airport. Look, another Indy 500 car in the airport. It must be the month of May in Indianapolis. Here at my gate in Indianapolis, I meet Jamie Heineman of Mythbusters. Uh, he just did the commencement speech at uh, IU this weekend and he's heading back to San Francisco. Pretty cool. So we're in Toronto's YYZ Airport. Makes you think of a Rush song, right? Well, it's anything but Rush. Here's the line behind me. Here's the line in front of me. So, it's kind of the opposite of Rush. Quite, quite the long line of YYZ. Dun, 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 dun. This is now the line. I started in about where that yellow shirt just passed by. That's where I started. And you can see now that's going way back into the terminal. And I'm still here going up and down the little lines. So patience is a virtue, I guess, right? Sunset in Montreal. We made it. Didn't know if we were going to make our plane in Toronto. There was such a line at customs and then um, security. Wow. I just barely, barely made my connection. I thought two hours would be plenty of time. It was not. I squeaked it. Watch the plane come in and land during the sunset. This is kind of cool, actually. Told you we were close to the airport. So, here in the hall, I, we always heard, I think it was CSI or something, that the last room next to the stairs is called the murder room because that way you can murder somebody and get out up the stairs really quick. And I don't know why it is, but I always seem to get that room. Still alive though, so there you go. <laughs>
But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was CSI. But the last room, the one room next to the stairs is always called the murder room. And uh, so that's been our joke for some time. Uh, so down the long hall, back to the elevators. Let's go find something to eat for tonight. I've been large tonight eating at McDonald's and look what they have, McLobster, a lobster sandwich. I'd say only in Canada, but we saw these in Maine also. Very strange sandwich. Well, according to Pulp Fiction, a quarter pounder with cheese in Paris is called a Royale with cheese because they have the metric system. Well, here in Canada they have the metric system and it's they speak French, but it's still a quarter pounder with cheese. Look, an actual paper map that I got down in the lobby. Let's uh, Let's fold this map up. I uh, can't really pull the map one-handed. There, it's folded up. Let's go. So let's go check out the hotel. So, leaving from my murder room there. And uh, let's go down the hall and see what happens. So we have uh, a piscine. So a pool and a whirlpool. Uh, Workout room and a salon zen, a zen room. Wow, let's go check that out. And here is our salon zen, our zen room. Looks kind of like uh, a room for yoga or something. It's got little steps, balls, a few little weights, some mats. I don't know about you, but I feel like my zen, my chi, is in line just being next to this room. Amazing. Good morning, Montreal. At least the last morning here. Oh, I better go get dressed. Oh, so just went down and had a little breakfast at the uh, incredibly overpriced... Uh, breakfast buffet here at the uh, courtyard, but uh, but it was good, but whew, glad the company's paying for this. Um, I, I got the newspaper. There's actually an English newspaper, um, not USA Today. Um, I think it's Canadian, Canada Today. I'm actually not sure what the paper is. The Montreal Gazette, so in, in English, so I had a newspaper to read, and they have this story on here see something, scoop something, and talking about uh, people walking in the downtown area, walking their dogs and not picking up after themselves. Now, I have to agree with the frustration on this because there's people in our neighborhood that walk their dogs and they poop in my front yard and it just irritates the nonsense out of me that they don't pick that up. When I'm mowing my front yard or I'm walking through my front yard, I don't expect to step in anything. And just ah. you know who you are, Linda. But I re was reading this and I found it funny. One of the quotes here is there is nothing worse than a dog owner that doesn't pick up after their dog. There's nothing worse than a dog owner that doesn't pick up after their dog. If there's nothing worse here in Canada, I need to move here because if that's the big problem that you have, that, that you're spending half a page on a newspaper on and, and a huge picture, so one, I guess two columns of newspaper on the third page of, of the front section, this is some place we need to go because you don't really have many problems then. I just found that funny. Um, and in the last part, before, let's see what time is getting to be, yeah, I probably need to start moving for the airport, is the map from yesterday. Um, and I know people that know me are going, how did he wad that map up and put it down? That's so not me. That's so not me. So, but what I was going to say is I can't handle it. This bugging, wadding this map up. 
it really bugged me. So, I'm going to have to fix it before we leave. There, not perfect, but it'll do. So got through security and immigration. Now this is funny, if you come through immigration, then you come directly into shops. It's like Disney World when you exit a ride. I mean, right out of immigration, there's the line coming out of immigration, people streaming through it. It comes directly into these shops. I find that funny. But uh, we had plenty of time today. Um, it was much better than Toronto. Uh, made it with, geez, all kinds of time to spare. I could have slept in a little bit longer today. Um, but uh, that's good. Plenty of time to kind of hang around and uh, do nothing for a little bit. Maybe catch up on some reading while I'm here at the airport. Godiva chocolate. Maybe I should pick some up for Michelle. Except that we have a Godiva store in Indianapolis, so I don't see the point there. It's got much more selection. Although we got Godiva Canada. I don't understand that. Belgium chocolate. But oh well. Not even French. And then of course we have the huge bars of Toblerone. Maybe I should pick one up for Joey. So he has something when I get back. So here in the bathroom. We've got mouthwash, gum, and I guess if those two work and give you a really fresh breath, then you're gonna need the studded condom. That's marketing right there. Check this shop out here in just a second. Look at this, look at this outfit. What is that? What, what kind of? Is this for real? That's maybe for a dancer or something? That's, that's quite the outfit right there. Big Omar, Big Omar, Big Omar! I don't know about you, but this pin fork to me looks like there's a little diagram I used to see of a woman's reproductive system. <laughs> you a so the uh, Maple Leaves have a lounge in Montreal. In all Shouldn't that be in Toronto? Chicago, dodging people. Chicago, Chicago, it's toddling down. Chicago, Chicago, and some other words that I don't know. All right, we're almost home. A little connecting flight to Indy, and then a little short drive, and that'll be it for this trip. Indiana, oh, Indiana. Indiana, we're all for you. Ah, you. Back in Indianapolis. Uh, traveling on a Wednesday seems weird because it seems like a Friday now. It seems like it should be the weekend tomorrow. But it's not. So a couple of days of working at the home office. And, uh, and then the weekend. And then another trip next week. But that should be the last one for a couple of weeks at least after that. Oh, it's good to be home again. That's another song. We'll save that one for another video. Bye.